define myself as an artist is just being an authentic person. I use my music as kind of my, my diary. I think rock music interprets the passion that I have for my faith and the passion I have for life. Farewell is a song about a girl who used to go to the youth group where I'm a youth leader and I hadn't seen her in a long time in our church and I ran into her at Starbucks one day. She shared with me the reason she hadn't been in church for a long time is because she felt regret over having made the decision to have an abortion. So I shared with her that the love of God has no condition and that once we come to Him and ask for forgiveness for what we feel we've done to hurt Him, that He's ready to forgive us and to never remember it again. Breakthrough is a song that I wrote at a time when I felt like my relationship with the Lord was a little bit dry and I was in some sort of a valley. I just really needed God just to break through and renew our relationship together. I'm very thankful to have had a wonderful example of an earthly father and I think it's been easier for me to embrace um, the love of a heavenly father that I can't see or touch or talk to in person. I wanted to write a song for the people that don't have that kind of a relationship with their fathers, that they completely only have their Heavenly Father. They've inspired me that they've decided to follow Him and love Him and look at Him as their daddy. I've had a lot of opportunities to speak in my home church and youth group and events. I think it's really important as a youth leader and just as a female Christian musician for these teenage girls to know that I'm not perfect either and I've had struggles. I'm willing to admit that, so let's talk together and let's get real together. When I was 15, 16 years old in high school, I had what's called an anxiety problem. It was manifesting with panic attacks and just hopelessness and um, for me and my family it was hereditary. I could either make a choice at that point in my life either turn to the Lord or I could, you know, feel victimized by fear for the rest of my life. Thankfully for me, I had wonderful parents who pointed me towards the Lord. Paper Tigers goes out to all those people who have fear, anxiety, and stress, and circumstances that kind of go beyond our control, and saying, let's surrender this to the Lord, because to Him, it's just a paper tiger. He can crumple it up and throw it away. I'm blessed that God gave me the gift of music to be able to convey His message and to do it in like the coolest way ever.